Hi everybody, that's me. You won't believe what time is it right now. Roughly, I want to say it's 4 a.m. in the morning. And trust me, I don't want to be up at this time. But it happens that my daughter has been very fussy. She has a blocked nose and I would say a runny nose and it's making her hard to sleep throughout the night. So she keeps waking up trying to breathe and it's irritating her. She's been up since 12 a.m., meaning midnight. She's finally down right now and I can't go back to sleep. I have a hard time if I, if someone disturbs me from sleeping. And I've been having this feeling that I should just record myself today. Everyone is at home. And if you could view the video, it would be so nice because I just have a couple of messages that I have to, to what I did this week. So this week, I tried to get some fundraisers to help some of the families in South Africa and as much as South Africa is big and has a lot of people in, in the country I knew I couldn't help everyone but if I could help two or three families that might be badly affected by this lockdown that was put on in the 26th of March to me it would mean a lot and reason being is that I know that most of the families it's not that they don't want to work it's not that they don't want to go to work right now but because this lockdown is keeping them indoors and some of the companies are shut down until this coronavirus can tone down they don't have any sort of income and some of them can't even have savings due to the fact that what they make is not enough to get savings through it month month incomes they have a lot of bills that they have to uh, um, pay and by the time they look at their paycheck it's not even enough they only have transport money to go to work that would have to last them for the entire month before the next paycheck. So this lockdown of being locked down for 21 days, that means no income in other people's houses and a lot of families going through without food and being depressed. And there's nothing as hard as being depressed and hungry and going through a lot at the same time. And you have mothers and fathers who wanna provide for their kids, but it's so hard and the kids are looking at them hoping that they will bring something in the house and it's just becoming harder and harder and harder for them. So I took it upon myself with my family's help in, here in America that, hey, at such, such a short notice, if I had to just put a, a short video with the message on top asking people who can still help to help me at least feed two or three or four families throughout this 21 days it will mean a lot to me and to those people that will be getting help my family was able to come together help me fast including people who are not even my family just because my family shared my message some people came in and pitched in we also pitched in as a family we started first we put what we can put and then we asked for help from people who can still help meaning if even if you share the video it meant a lot to me and it happened that we were able to feed six families six families that has a high amount of of numbers in the house of people in the house so that was amazing i want to say thank you to everyone that contributed and sharing and and, and also being able to um contribute with your money thank you thank you thank you you might think that whatever you contributed was little, but to them it was really big. It was big for me too. And I, I'm not a person who likes putting people's names if they are helped, just like me, if I was helped whenever, back then when I was helped, I never wanted someone flashing my name on my face saying I help so and so. So the name of the families and the people that were involved in this won't, their names won't be um, mentioned and their faces won't be showed. But the gratitude that that comes through them is for, uh, very overwhelming to me personally. And I I want to say that I remember back when I was 17. And this, I brought it upon myself. I won't lie, I brought it upon myself. But I didn't think it was going to get to that extent. So when I was 17, I fell pregnant with my firstborn, which is Siam Tanda. I was in high school doing my last year in high school. Yeah, and then on that year I was turning 18. 
my dad found out not not through me found out that i was pregnant did not take it well which i wasn't expecting him to take it well no parents will be happy to hear that their kid is pregnant while in school they just they just there's an order of doing stuff and i didn't do it in order happened that my father did not take it really well they kicked me out of the house and i had to try and find ways to provide for myself including the baby inside me it wasn't easy and this is different some people don't even have to get themselves into trouble in order to go through poverty some are born into it like that and i had to make a decision i had to make a decision that i have a baby that i don't want to abort i would like to raise him but how will i raise him if i don't have a house and i don't have a home this is where i got help from members of the church this is where I got help from the community when I was pregnant and I kind of disappointed my dad. They came through. They helped me. They believed in me when I didn't even see any light. They told me that this is not the end. You have to redeem yourself to your dad and you have to raise this kid now because you have someone who needs you more than anything else in life right now. I had to decide on quitting the fun stuff because I wasn't a kid anymore. I decided to do stuff that are way older than my age. I had to grow to that age and then raise my son so he will never look at me and be like, Mom, I'm like this because of you. I, should, I would have made it in life if you didn't make these choices. I had to quit fun stuff i had to accept that there's stuff that i just cannot be involved in anymore so i can be a better parent before my dad passed away we made peace so i did find a way to make my way back to his heart again and i apologized and i showed him that i'm trying and this is the only baby he will know until i'm married and it did happen like that but he wasn't there to witness it anymore because he passed away in 2014 and this happened in 2012. So I would go hungry. I would I would be I would get food from from the community. When I say community families that knew my issue, they would help me make sure that I'm eating. Families that knew what I'm going through, they will talk to the church. The church will call me and they will provide food for me. And that helped me because the community came together to help me because of my stupid decisions that I made back in there at that time. And I've never forgotten those people and I've never forgotten the help that I received from the community. And with the little that I have, I thought of people who might be going through what I went through before, but not including kids and pregnancy, just going through because of the lockdown. It made me think of how important it is to give out even if you don't have much give out maybe maybe give out your time maybe give out just that sharing button just share share so someone else can get help maybe give out by a dollar a dollar here in america i'm not saying we are filthy rich no we're not but a dollar here in america compared to us over south africa it's really big in south africa really really big and so when I was asking for help, it was a matter of just getting a little money that would accumulate to big amount of money when it's sent to South Africa. And it did. It, it helped six families. And I just wanted to say that, that I am truly grateful. And if you are a believer and you follow my channel, God is alive. No matter what's happening right now. God is alive. You might not understand. I'm currently fearing for my life too because my family is in danger. I still go to work. Even my family too still goes to work. And it happens that every time someone sneezes or coughs, I'm scared. I'm scared for my life. I'm scared for my kids' life. I'm scared for if I would be the one bringing the virus in the house when I come back from work. Currently, we had one confirmed case in my workplace, a worker this week. We discovered that she, he or she, because we don't know, they don't reveal the name of the people and what gender, sex, no. They don't, which is good. Was tested positive and they had to tell us because we are workers and we 
they don't have to keep it as a secret for us but they didn't tell us more details except for telling us that one of the worker ha workers have been tested positive so it's getting more scary and scarier and i just want to say if you can still help even through a prayer it will mean a lot today is sunday and this can be another opportunity to just pray fast talk to your maker it can be a 21 lock day for south africans to draw closer to god the entire world can be an opportunity to to draw closer to god to we are, it's not only my home country that is being affected it's not only america also my second home country that is being affected it's in the entire world and if we can come together and pray that we see change and all of that it will mean a lot and once again thank you so much for the people that contributed on helping me um help families in south africa one day i pray that one day i'll be able to help more than six one day i pray that i might have um bigger amount that can help at least a hundred families in the future but this is just my little prayer to god and i pray that you guys even in south africa the people that helped me put this together so fast and and also when to leave um the winds and drop off the groceries that we bought to those people's houses thank you so much it meant a lot so yeah my channel today is just based on gratitude and stay safe on this coronavirus lockdown in my home country stay safe listen it's not because it's a rich thing people because i've been hearing that it is everyone being affected whether you're rich poor purple green white orange black it's affecting everyone so don't be hard-headed don't be ignorant about it it is serious stay home stay safe until we meet again thank you so much don't forget to like and subscribe and share this and if you can help if you could still help other countries besides south africa please do that and let me know if i can help too thank you from the hammond family to you guys love y'all